Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're going to continue working with fractions and here we're going to have a quick review of something I know you've probably seen before and that is what we call mixed numbers or sometimes we call them mixed fractions. So it's a very easy concept to get and to understand uh, but the easiest way to do it is to draw something and then explain it. So let's do that right now. Sometimes you will see a fraction that looks something like this as an example two and one half. And the way you write this is you have the big number out in front and then you have the fraction sitting next to it. And the way you say it literally in words is two and a half, two and a half. So if you have two and a half cakes, let's say, then what you really have is two cakes plus one half cake. So literally in words, it means exactly how it sounds. Two and a half cakes mean you have two cakes plus another half. So if I wanted to draw that, just to quickly show you, if I had two and a half cakes, here's cake number one, here's cake number two, here's another cake that I'm going to end up cutting in half. Now if I wanted to represent two and a half cakes, then what I have is this is the first cake, this is the second cake, and here's the half a cake. So this two and a half, that's what it means. When you see something like this where the numbers are written like that, that's two and a half. Now let's do another one, just to give you a little refresher, a little experience with these guys. If I have four and a third pencils, what does that really mean? If I have four and a third pencils, it means I have four pencils plus one third of a pencil. Right? So four and a third, exactly the way it sounds. So if I wanted to draw this, um, let's say here is one pencil, here is pencil number two, here is pencil number three, and here is pencil number four. I'm going to end up having a part of that last pencil. But anyway, if I wanted to represent graphically four and a third, actually I have one more I need to draw here. You'll see why in just a second. So here's my fourth pencil on the board. All right, so if I have this, or my fifth pencil I have on the board, if I wanted to represent this, four and a third. So here is pencil number one, so I take that one away. Here's pencil number two, I take that one away. Here's pencil number three, take that one away. Here's pencil number four, I take that one away. So this comes from the fact that there's four pencils in front. But if I have one third of a pencil, I have to divide the last pencil into three pieces because the bottom numbers are three. And then the top number means I only have one third of that last pencil. So if these were pencils here, this would represent four and one third pencils. One, two, three, four pencils plus part of another one, one out of three pieces to make that one third there. Okay? So it's a, it's a concept that is not hard once you get a little bit of practice with it. Mixed numbers are commonly seen all over the place and we're going to need to be comfortable with mixed fractions because we are going to, in a little while, add and subtract and multiply them together, so you need to be comfortable with how to do that. So if I have uh, three and four ninths uh, meter sticks, for example, then what it means is I have three plus four ninths more. All right, three plus four ninths more. So if I wanted to draw this, then I would have to say,